So just some basic instructions on refilling a DI cartridge. So after dumping out the old DI resin, you wanna retrieve the little foam piece that might be inside there, put that and the cap off to one side. So you start scooping in some fresh DI resin. As you get close to the top, you wanna to gently tap it down on the ground to get the DI resin to settle. You can also use another object to maybe push it, push it and pack it down a little bit. You wanna fill it pretty much right up to the top. You don't wanna leave any gap at all. You wanna leave just enough room to be able to stick this little foam piece just on top. Even if it sticks out like this, it's perfectly fine. Then you're gonna to wanna to put the cap on, tighten it up, and then insert it into your DI housing. Now, the reason why you want this DI resin to be super packed is because when you put this through a pure water system and water goes in there, there's gonna be a continuation of settling the DI going down and it's gonna leave a little bit of a gap. It's fine if you're running the, uh, the machine standing up, but most people in the you know, window cleaning industry use their systems lying down sideways so that you know the system doesn't accidentally get tipped over. Now you can imagine if you have a gap, let's say that we have a gap this much at the top here, and then you turn it on its side, with the water going through, now you'll have a little bit of a gap going all the way across. That means water is going to go through here, some is going to go through the resin, but the rest is going to go up through the top, miss the resin, and come out the other side. So you want these things packed as much as possible. Thanks for watching.